Every good pickup truck review requires three things, a location, a truck, and a big white dude. And that's why today we've come to San Antonio, Texas to test the new 2014 Chevy Silverado. All three of the engines that you can get with the 2014 Silverado are brand new motors. For fuel efficiency purposes, they all feature Ecotech 3 technology, which consists of variable valve timing, cylinder deactivation, and direct injection. The base engine option on the Silverado is a 4.3 liter V6 that puts out 285 horsepower and 305 pound-feet of torque. The largest engine is going to be a 6.2 liter V8, and Chevy hasn't released specs on it yet. The middle engine option, which Chevy says will power three out of four new Silverados, is a 5.3 liter V8 that churns out 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. That 5.3 is rated at 16 miles per gallon city and 23 miles per gallon highway when you get it with a 4x2 configuration. If you bump up to 4x4, you're rated at 16 miles per gallon city and only 22 on the highway. When equipped with the max towing package, the 2014 Silverado is rated at an industry best 11,500 pounds. Pricing for the 2014 Silverado starts at $24,585, while our LTZ equipped Z71 test model priced out at $50,910. Chevrolet says that this truck is new from hood to hitch, but that's only partially true when you look at the styling. Down the sides and around the back, it actually stays quite close to the old truck, but up front, we have some drastic changes. There are new projector beam headlamps, a bigger grille, and that big old bow tie right there in the middle. Chevy took a lot of the rounded edges and really squared them off. That gives it a big fist punching through the wind sort of look. As any real truck guy knows, you're really making your money with the bed of your pickup. So Chevy's focused on usability in the new 2014 Silverado pickup bed. There's those new bumper integrated steps, which are brilliant. They're easy to use, and they don't require any moving parts that can break, such as Ford's bed step. Now Chevy has also integrated four new tie-down hookups located high up in the bed. Each one of them is rated at 250 pounds, and they would definitely make it a lot easier if you're trying to secure some rather awkward cargo. Lastly, new LED lights have been fitted inside the bed, which are going to make it easy for you to see exactly what you're doing at night. The difference between the old Silverado interior and this new one is night and day. This one is filled with leather and soft touch surfaces, but it still retains some rugged design, which a lot of real truck guys will appreciate. Technology is in no short supply in this new truck either. There's an 8 inch touchscreen in the center console and a 4 inch screen in the info cluster. Both of them use GM's IntelliLink infotainment system, which in my experience has been flawless. It's easy to use, easy to understand, and you only need to quickly glance at it to get the information that you need. Hooking your devices up to this truck has never been easier. There are five USB ports, although I'm not sure why you'd really need all five of them. There are three 12 volt cigarette lighter style plugins, and there's one three prong 12 volt plug in up here in the center stack. One of my biggest gripes with GM's old interiors was that a lot of the information that you needed was located low in the stack. GM has addressed that by moving the touchscreen, the all-wheel drive control, and the trailer brake controller up to the very top, so you only need to quickly glance off the road to get the info that you need. It also retains redundant controls as well as buttons that are easy to use with a gloved hand, and that's really what any true working man needs in his truck. While driving, the ergonomics in this truck are so good that I have to bring them up again. All the controls are right where I want them to be within easy reach of the steering wheel. Now when you have no weight on the back of this truck, it feels really good. One of the biggest differences compared to the previous model is the addition of electric power steering. Now honestly, the first time I got in here, I thought it was still hydraulic. I had to ask one of the engineers to find out for sure. And that's because the weighting is just right, it's not too light and it's definitely not too heavy, and it changes based on what you're doing. In a parking lot situation, it's very easy to turn the wheels. Whereas when you get on the highway and you get some more speed going, the weighting steps up and gives you a really planted, solid feeling steering wheel. 
Now when it comes to powertrain, the throttle response is bang on. The braking is pretty good, but it's still a little bit of a pillow top. Once you push into the pedal more, you get the stopping that you want, but it takes a little getting used to. We got the chance to hook up 8,500 pounds to the back of this Silverado in the form of a skid steer. Now let me tell you that that weight felt just right for this truck. Any more than that and I'd be a little scared that the truck would be getting pushed around a bit. My biggest complaint is when hooked up to that engine, the torque response in the low end really isn't where I'd like it to be. And now that's in comparison to Ford's EcoBoost V6. Chevy says that this 5.3 liter V8 that's under the hood is going to be their volume engine too, so if you do want that power you could always bump up to the big V8, but the majority of buyers aren't going to be getting the big engine. We got the chance to sample this new Silverado off-road as well, and we got to use Chevy's Hill Descent Control, which is new for the 2014 Silverado. Now in my experience with the truck, it was a little bit out of phase with the hills. So it would let you come in really hot over the top of the hill and then grab halfway down. If you feathered the brakes and used the hill descent control together, it worked quite well, but it definitely seems like the system needs a little bit more fine tuning. So while I mentioned that the torque in this engine wasn't exactly where I'd like it to be, the fuel economy is definitely right there. In our time with the truck, we hit a 16 mile per gallon average and that's pretty much all city driving with a little bit of highway mixed in. I was a little worried when they told me about the cylinder deactivation. Sometimes with these systems you can get a little bit of a rumble or you can get a little bit of noise when it switches over. But I can assure you that this Silverado is completely seamless. You don't notice it happens and the only way you can tell is when the indicator in the info screen changes. This new Silverado is also packed with tons of safety tech like lane departure warning and forward collision alert. Both of which use Chevy's safety alert seat which vibrates the bottom of the seat to let you know when there's a problem. It really is a great system because that physical touch is way more alerting than any beep could ever be. While it may not be the torquiest truck of the half ton bunch, those new great looks inside and out, the improved fuel economy, and special features like that bumper integrated step are going to be more than enough to please the Chevy faithful and might just pry some fans away from their Fords and Rams. After this test, it's still safe to say that the Chevy Silverado is built like a rock. For more on this review and others like it, visit autoguide.com.